Hey, in this body weight shoulder workout, the main piece of equipment that you need is a foam roller, and then everything else can be done uh, with just body weight. So let's get started. And if you don't have a foam roller, you can always use even just the side of a chair, the side of a table, because we're going to do two or three different warm up movements, and then we're going to get into the main set after that. And these are mainly for the warm up and cool down. With the first movement, you can either do this in standing or kneeling like I am. And we're going to hit 10 reps on each side, just working on shoulder range of motion. So first, put one hand on the foam roller. My right arm is on the foam roller, so my left hand is down on the ground. Reach forward all the way, and then back away. On and off here, stretching the entire shoulder. We have 10 reps on each side. And I like doing this with the foam roller because it gives me the opportunity to hit different angles as I go on and off. If I want to stretch out to the side a bit more or over across the inside where I get more of a side body stretch, those are both good. Let's do three more here. Two more. Last one. And then take the foam roller over to your left hand. Again, now I'll bring my right arm down to the ground. Left arm reaches all the way up overhead, gets a big stretch. And I say we're doing 10 on each side, and I want you to hit roughly 10 on each side, but it's okay if you uh, do a few more or a few less, because as you know from other videos, I don't always follow pace as well as I should. We got five more here. Feel free to add in some of those variations going over to each side all the way out to the opposite side. We're just trying to warm up all parts of the shoulder range of motion. Two more. Last one. You can put the foam roller aside for a minute. And then this next movement, which is still part of the warm up, is gonna be big shoulder, shoulder circles through the shoulder blades primarily. What this looks like is shrugging your shoulders up pulling them back, but they're still up, and then round them around the back and bring it around again. So you're making full circles through the shoulder blades, and we have 10 each direction here. So you can see I'm pulling up, back and around, and down. What this does is loosens up all the shoulder blade muscles. It brings some mobility across the chest muscles in the front, and it helps loosen up the upper middle back, which gets so locked in often if you're working on the computer or if you're just doing anything that's more of a forward type posture. Three more big circles go in the first direction and then we'll turn and go the opposite direction. Last one, shake it out, reset for a second. Now this time you're gonna shrug up, but then pull forward, back and around. And you can let your spine round a bit as you roll forward with this one and get more of a stretch across the upper back at the same time. That's five, six. One direction usually feels a bit more natural than the other one. Each time, think about hitting all parts of that circular motion through the shoulder. Last one here. And then once again, shake it out, relax. For this next movement, you can do it in sitting or I'm just gonna kneel down and it's gonna be a shoulder reach, but then at the top, you're shrugging your shoulders up, so I'm actively reaching my shoulders up towards my ears and feeling that activation on top. And then when you're up top, also drop your shoulders down and then relax back down. We have 10 of these together. Reach your arms all the way up, shrug at the top, keep your core engaged, make sure you're not overarching there. Let the shoulders drop down and then slowly lower down. Reach. Shrug even higher, relax the shoulders down, and keep going here. We have seven more. From the side view, as I'm reaching there, I get that extra shrug, which lengthens the side body, lengthens the lat muscles, making sure I'm not overarching. As I shrug down, only my shoulder blades move, and then back down. Three more. Two. Last one. All the way up. Hold that shrug. 
Poyos rolls down and then relax back into the movement. So, so far we've loosened up the shoulders here. We've got the shoulder blades moving in the back and now we're going to start strengthening through that shoulder blade region. What we're focusing on here is muscles called the trapezius, specifically the middle and lower part of those muscles. And that really helps pull the shoulders back and put you in a nice postural alignment. For the first movement, go down onto your stomach and place your hands kind of right at the front of your shoulder level as if you're going to do a push-up. And this movement is called a cobra pose if you're familiar with different yoga terminology. But what I want you to do first is draw in your abdominals. So I don't want you to overarch from your low back. You draw in your abdominals. Next, press lightly through your hands. Tuck your chin in so you're lengthening through your neck. Hold that position for two seconds and then lower down. So to reiterate, you're drawing your core in, pressing through your hands, lengthening the back of your neck and then lowering down. We have 10 of these. Remember, we're holding two seconds per rep. So starting off, draw on your core, press lightly through your hands, lengthen the back of your neck, feel the shoulder blade muscles in the middle of your spine working, and lower down. Draw in, raise, lengthen, lower down. Keep going at your own pace here. Each time you raise up, imagine if someone was pulling a string from the top of your head and lengthening the back of your neck as you're raising off. If you find that you're feeling compression way lower here, make sure you draw in your abdominals first before you press up. Otherwise, it might tilt there and you'll feel all that tension lower. Let's hit these final three together. Core in, press through your hands, lengthen the back of your neck. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze back and down. Two more. And down. Last one. Squeeze the shoulder blades, hold the top for one second. See if you can maybe raise your hands off for a second and then lower down. Very nice. That is challenging for those upper back muscles. Even though it's a small movement, it's working on both the stability and range of motion of the upper back. We have two more movements in today's workout. And the next one is gonna be our, our biggest movement of the day. And it's a full plank into what's called a downward dog position. And it forces you to use your core and it lengthens the back of your legs while strengthening your shoulders through a big range of motion. So start in a high plank position. And the main requirements here, oftentimes people with shoulder injuries like to tilt their hips forward like this. Make sure you're drawing in your abdominals and tucking your hips under. This might be a, a good place for you to stop so you don't even have to go to the downward dog progression. If you'd like to, from there, press through your hands, really the fourth and fifth fingers even more. Feel that outer shoulder blade engagement and then reach all the way back. Now I'm getting a slight hamstring stretch there, drawing my core in and then slowly going back into the plank position. We have 10 of these, just like that. Press all the way back. Back into high plank. Keep going here. On and off. Each time I'm going from plank into the downward dog, I imagine I'm pushing my hands away as if almost I'm trying to slide through sand. And that active push into the ground activates all the muscles of the shoulder blade, which are so important for getting that arm all the way up overhead. Additionally, think about pressing through your hands or screwing your left hand counterclockwise, your right hand clockwise. And what that does is it turns on the outer shoulder. So as I'm here and I turn my hands into the ground, I lock in all of these muscles as I go through that range of motion. I was talking for a little bit there. So let's just do two more together. High plank, Press through your hands, fourth and fifth fingers. Press into the ground the whole time you're going back into that downward dog. Last one here. Keep pushing through your shoulders in this position. Back to high plank. Knees down. 
And then we just have one more kind of warm down movement. Grab onto your foam roller. And if you don't have a foam roller for this one, you can just do it on the ground or you can always roll up a small beach towel and then do it like that. For this movement, lie down on the foam roller all the way across your spine. And then the setup criteria here is very important because I'm gonna lock everything in before you start moving the shoulder blades. First draw in your abdominals and then lightly tuck your hips under and I feel flat my spine working all the way against the foam roller. Next, the shoulders peel back, chin tucks in. And then from here, let your arms open up and just fall out to the sides to get somewhat of a pec stretch. As you do that, I'm gonna show two variations. The first one, from here, you can just pull your elbows in towards your side, which further stretch the pec muscles and engage the back side of the shoulder blades. On and off. Or the second variation is to do more of a, a snow angel sort of position or floor angels here. Keeping the chin tucked, you reach all the way overhead, sliding your fingertips along the floor. And then pulling back down into that same pec stretch at the bottom. Whatever variation you'd like to do, keep going on and off. If you're trying the floor angels variation that I'm showing here, but you find that you can't keep your fingers back if you're having to kind of skip through a range of motion to get overhead, I want you to start just with the first one, having your arms out by your side and then pulling back and together. Keep going on and off here. We have three more. Remember the entire time drawing your core in and tucking under, and that'll lock out the low back to make sure you're not using that area. Last one. Feel that stretch, pause for a second. See if you can take a deep breath in while keeping your core locked into the foam roller. And then once again, shake it out. That is our whole body, our full, full shoulder workout, just a body weight workout. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time.